If you're a San Francisco 49ers fan, you probably think that this is not a big deal at all whatsoever, but I'm sorry to break it to you. This is a pretty freaking big deal. Context is everything and the context of this entire situation alludes to one thing and one thing only. We're gonna get to that in just a second. Before we get to the content, we are back with a $500 giveaway, giving away $500 to a subscriber that turns on our notifications on this channel. We're also dropping a brand new video on my general commentary channel today on Flight Mike TV if you wanna go check that out as well. And of course, if you wanna just drop by and chat with your boy, make sure you join my Discord community. The link to that's in the description down below. Now that we get all that out of the way, break! Mic check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? I'm not a big fan of traditional banks. They charge $35 for overdraft fees. They charge you fees for having a checking and savings account, and they don't give you cash back on debit card purchases. On top of that, most banks don't really care if you make or lose money, which is why I partnered with Albert. Albert is free to sign up for and easy to use. Instead of just opening a traditional savings account and hoping you put money into it, Albert looks at your income and expenses to see what money you can save. The best part is they give five to 20% cash back on retailers like Walmart, Starbucks, and McDonald's. And probably the most important feature of Albert is Genius. Albert has a team of financial experts called Geniuses that will look at your situation and help you make a plan if you get stuck. And for a limited time, when you click my link in the description down below, open up an account and submit a qualifying direct deposit, you'll get $150 just like that. Or you could go to albert.com forward slash microphone to create an account and submit a qualifying direct deposit to get $150. That's an easy $150 to make. And thank you, Albert, for today's sponsor. Guys, I am not here to stir up a Debo Samuel is about to get traded rumor because that is not what's happening. What is happening is Debo Samuel is trying to make a statement. And the statement makes a lot of sense if you think about it. If you're a businessman, more or less, you would probably do what Debo Samuel is doing. Yesterday, we made a video on the fact that Stefan Diggs got a gigantic contract extension four years, $70 million in guaranteed money. Wide receivers are getting contracts like we've never seen before at this point. You could all thank Devontae Adams and the Las Vegas Raiders for starting this. Because at first it was Devontae Adams getting traded for a first round pick and a second round pick a few weeks ago, and then signing a gigantic contract that guaranteed him $65.6 million at the age of 30 years old. Tyreek Hill saw that contract while he was in the middle of renegotiating a contract with the Kansas City Chiefs and said, whoa, 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 I can get that type of money if I go elsewhere? And as a result, the Kansas City Chiefs had to trade Patrick Mahomes' favorite target to the Miami Dolphins, although they got a really good value in return for him. And Tyreek Hill then got extended and got over $70 million guaranteed at the age of 28. Now, if that's the market for wide receivers that have been really productive in the past, like Tyreek Hill and Devontae Adams and for all you know, they could continue to be productive in the future. What is going to be the market for 25 year old wide receivers looking for their first big contract? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we mentioned this in our video yesterday. AJ Brown and DK Metcalf are in trade rumors for a reason. And that's the fact that, well, more DK Metcalf than AJ Brown. DK Metcalf is on a rebuilding team. Would that rebuilding team with a quarterback that is still relatively unproven want to give DK Metcalf top? wide receiver won money at the age of 25? Probably not, which is why DK Metcalf was in trade rumors. The same could be said for AJ Brown. Maybe the Tennessee Titans can't afford AJ Brown. Maybe AJ Brown would sign elsewhere anyway. So as a result, the Tennessee Titans might have explored the idea of trading AJ Brown, but currently according to both the Titans and the Seahawks, they are not open to trading those wide receivers of the deep 2019 wide receiver draft class. Then we get to a wide receiver that I don't think is going to get traded 
related at all whatsoever, and I believe he understands this. And that's Debo Samuel. So let's give you guys some background to this entire situation. In the beginning of the offseason, we made several videos on one of the stars of the NFC West. Kyler Murray just randomly, after the Pro Bowl, decided to take down each and every single picture that pertained to the Arizona Cardinals. This turned into a big deal really quick. People were wondering whether or not Kyler Murray was demanding a trade. Obviously, the Cardinals aren't going to trade Kyler Murray. You don't just trade your former number one overall pick if he's been producing at the level that he's been producing and if he's been as prolific as Kyler Murray. Each and every year Kyler Murray was on the Cardinals, the team got better. After multiple videos, how did that storyline conclude? Well, Kyler Murray's agent put out a very big paragraph with a very tiny font and explained in about 4,000 words what could have been said in about three or four words, which is my client wants an extension. Okay, five words. And at the time we're making this video, Kyler hasn't been extended yet, but that was the whole purpose of what he did and why he did it. Now it seems like Debo Samuel is doing the same thing. Another member of the NFC West, who you guys could say, oh, it's a coincidence, but he decided to unfollow the San Francisco 49ers and delete all team related posts from his Instagram account. Now, I can't stand the individuals that say, hey Mike, this is a coincidence. No, it's not a freaking coincidence, dude. Stephon Diggs got paid yesterday. Debo Samuel is sitting back, noticing all these gigantic contracts that are being given out and is thinking to himself, I mean more to the San Francisco 49ers offense than Stephon Diggs means to the Buffalo Bills offense. I mean more to the San Francisco 49ers offense than Tyreek Hill will to the Miami Dolphins and Devontae Adams will to the Las Vegas Raiders. Whether or not that's true or not is a different conversation for a different day, but for the most part, you could make the argument and a very reasonable argument that Debo Samuel does deserve to get paid more than Devontae Adams and more than Tyreek Hill, primarily because of the way this man has been utilized in the past season alone. He's going into his age 26 season and the entire San Francisco 49ers offense last year flowed strictly through him. Whether he was a halfback or a wide receiver, the man had 1,400 yards receiving for an absurd 18 yards per reception percentage. And he did this with only 77 receptions. The man also was able to rush for 365 yards for an absurd 6.2 yards per carry. He did this on 59 rushes and was able to bring in six touchdowns receiving last year and eight touchdowns rushing last year. As a result, he was selected to his first Pro Bowl and was named as a first team all pro. So as a result of such a prolific season and the fact that his contract is about to expire, do you think that he is just going to sit back and say, okay, I'm gonna go into the season, produce once again on a rookie scale contract and then try to get a contract extension? Probably not. Considering the fact that the previous two years combined for the amount of games he played last year or the amount of games he started last year, it makes a lot of sense why Debo Samuel would try to cash in as soon as possible. This is a wide receiver that hasn't had the greatest luck staying on the field during the first two years of his career. Last year was a different story, but we don't know how sustainable last year's production is. So as a result, you could bet that this was done on purpose. You don't just randomly decide to unfollow your team and delete all team related posts just because you want to break from football and everything that correlates to football. If you want to break from football and everything that correlates to football, sure, maybe unfollow your team. But when you delete all team related posts, that is given a different message, especially when another member of the NFC West has done it. Clearly Debo Samuel saw what Kyler Murray did and thought to himself, if I want to ensure that this is me doing whatever needs to be done in order to get a contract extension, then this is what I'm going to do. He's mirroring Kyler Murray's exact game plan to a T. Now, do I think this means that the San Francisco 49ers are going to trade Debo Samuel? Most definitely not. The San Francisco 49ers will not trade Debo Samuel. He is too prolific and too vital to their offense. Unless Kyle Shanahan believes he could pick out another Debo Samuel in the NFL draft, which I highly doubt he believes that. The ultimate end result of this is either one, Debo Samuel gets extended, 
two, Debo Samuel decides to hold out, or three, Debo Samuel has a conversation with the San Francisco 49ers and they're able to move forward. I don't think Debo Samuel is going to find himself on a completely different team as a result of this. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think? Do you think this is not a big deal at all whatsoever? Which it is. Or do you think this could be something greater? Maybe Debo Samuel ends up getting traded. I like to hear what you have to say. Aside from that, I'm your boy, Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.